Hi guys, welcome back. I have um, my little project done. So all the envelopes say Merry Christmas and then it says do not open until Christmas break um, because they will probably get them on Friday and we still have three more days of school after that. But yeah, hopefully that's something special. I, I need to see if I've got Christmas stickers or something. Um, like seal them but yeah I just finished stuffing those I need to do some grading I don't think I have to do any recording but I need to do some grading and yeah um I have some exciting news slash a prayer request I have finally found a place um, that does custom wheelchairs in the Philippines. Wheels for the World, um, Johnny Erickson Tata's wheelchair ministry is wonderful, but they don't really have anything that is best for Miss D at this point. Um, so it's not to say it's might be something we'll avail of in the future, possibly, but right now to get something that just fits her really well, that is hers and she can use in the house, she can use to go out and play in the yard, she can use to go on walks, um, just that is good for her. That's um, what I'm hoping for. I don't think we'll have it before Christmas, but um, yeah, that's just how it goes. So now we're to the point where we're, you know, asking um, because she is our foster daughter going to DSWD saying, is this something you'll help us with? And then if not, you know, putting it before the Lord and asking him to take care of it. So, and ultimately he is the one that takes care of it. You know, he's the one that's going to put it either on DSWD's heart to to help us in this way, or he's gonna be the one that's gonna put it on somebody else's heart to help us. So, but yeah, just the possibility and um, just knowing how much freedom and mobility <laughs> that will give her is just um, very exciting to me. So, now I need to do some school stuff, get down to business. We'll talk to you soon. Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. Welcome to Vlogmas Day number nine. Um, actually, right now I'm currently downloading um, Vlogmas Day number eight. So hopefully that gets uploaded. Guys, vlogging with foster kids is no joke like it's a lot of work and i say that in the sense of when you have a foster child you want to protect their identity so you don't say their name on camera and you don't show their like if you have them in a video <coughs> then you need to blur out their face um to protect their identity and so normally I don't put our foster daughter in, in videos and I just avoid it but yesterday and all the excitement of getting our bullock buy-in box woo, we got our bullock buy-in box our Christmas bullock buy-in box I was more focused on you know making sure that Thomas wasn't like destroying things and enjoying the experience of opening the box with him and when I went back to edit the video, I realized that our foster daughter's face was like popping up in different places. And I was like, yeah, we can't have that. So I, I'm not very good at figuring out how to blur out faces. I'm working with um, YouTube Studio. And last night, I think I got like two, three hours of sleep. Not good. Gonna hit some caffeine later today. Um, but just, yeah, still working on that. 
it's a video I want to share with you guys. It's it's a special one, so I guess I might just have to. Worst comes to worst, she's like in the beginning, and then show you the second half of the video or something. I don't know, but figure that out. I'm not exactly for sure what today will bring. I did shoot some footage yesterday. Um, that's not related to getting our, our ball like buying box, it was just something we were doing. So I think I will share that in today's video and just take you along to what we're up to. Um, we're, we're struggling. I, I think everybody, you know, this time of year, like you start to put Christmas gifts under the tree and it really starts to look like Christmas. And the four year old's like, there's presents and I know that presents are opened and why aren't we opening the presents? And so there's that struggle. We'll see how long um, it lasts and how long it works out to keep the presents at home. And if it doesn't continue to work out, then we will bring them here to school. So yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens and we'll see what today brings. Guys, I'm struggling. I am tired. I have a headache. Oh, what was... I'm the kind of person that when I want to accomplish something or when my mind is set on something, it is really hard to get anything else done. And I guess that includes sleep. So, but I think I figured it out. It's not perfect. Um, and honestly, there's sometimes like if you really wanted to look for Misty, you see her a little bit, but I, uh, beggars can't be choosers at this point. So I think I've done the best that I can and hopefully it's enjoyable if anything I keep trying to remind myself it'll be a great family um, memory you know something to look back on um, because there will come a day when we won't get ball like buy in boxes anymore because we'll be in the states so I think I'm gonna get off of here and go get a coke and it's only 8 40 in the morning long day ahead well guys, I just got back from lunch and I was gonna walk home, but it's sprinkling and I'm just afraid it's gonna like really, really rain if I walk home. So we'll see what happens. I I need to lose some weight. So I'm thought about, you know, walking home. I, I've, I try to walk home each day after lunch just cause it's good exercise. And honestly, with lockdown and not, you know, going to the playground, chasing kids and that kind of thing. A lot of times it's the only exercise I get. So I think I'm going to stay at school for a little bit and fill packets for elementary kids again. So we'll see you in a little bit. Hey guys, hope you're doing well. We are just hanging out. Um, Dan is done with school and should be running a couple of errands and then be home. Thomas is trying to take me out. Um, we are just hanging out. Um, I was bouncing on the ball, but now Thomas is playing for it. I'm listening to nursery rhymes and Miss D is throwing a ball. She just threw that ball. So yeah, it's just as, as much as yesterday was a lot of fun getting the box, I getting that vlog out was a complete mess and really difficult and hard. So it's really nice to just just chill right now. So, but I guess I gotta go fetch a ball. Where'd it go? But yeah, we're working on skills for Dixie, like sitting up, um, recovering a ball on her own when she's able to, and just hanging out because it's warm. Um, I think we're all a little, a little tired. Um, 
I still have a headache. It didn't end up raining super bad, so I almost feel bad that I didn't walk home. But, you know, I figure if I, I'm only asking Dan to take me home a couple times a week, it's not that bad, so. Um, but yeah, we are just, just chilling. Um, there's Thomas and, and I guess I should get off of here because Misty is kind of demanding, but, but that's okay. So, we'll catch up with you later. Misty is quite the little bookworm. I'll show you what I can over here. She loves to just sit and look at books. Um, with CP, the, the cardboard books are, are easier for her to turn and um, work with, but. After reading um, some of the posts that other parents from the cerebral palsy group that I'm a part of shared today, it's, it's kind of nice to just um, sit here and, and, and be in the little kid stage. Um, there, there are things that she'll have to deal with in the future, which I think I knew like subconsciously, um, or maybe I just haven't thought of them, but... Um, Things that'll just be, bless you, more challenging as she gets older um, that I really just don't want to think about right now. So it's nice to just sit here and look at books. So that's what we're doing. It's something... Oh, the TV's changing Mommy, this. Look. So, Mommy, anyways. Mommy, look. Mommy, look. Hold on, Thomas. Thomas is freaking out because um, the, the YouTube commercials are, like, at the weirdest of times. And, um, you know, it's got to be changed right away. Instant gratification, I guess, or whatever. So, but, yeah, we're just chilling, which is, it's nice. It's nice to spend the time with these kids and just, um, yeah, don't get a, we won't always get to slow down like this in our life, so trying to look on the bright side of things. Here's a couple of pictures from Dan's adventures out and about for you to enjoy. vlogmas day nine um it's been a good good day i think dan got a lot done at school um i don't feel like i've gotten as much done as i need to but i feel like as soon as i go to record a video or whatever i end up having a coughing fit so i might, might have to go in a little bit during break but that's okay and it's just been good to relax with Thomas and Miss D and just have some time um, relaxing and resting and oh, it's how you keep your body going anyways and tonight I'm going to get more sleep than I did last night so yeah, I think that's it um yeah Happy Vlogmas Day number nine, and we'll see you tomorrow. God bless. Bye. Merry Christmas from Bar Family Teachers. We pray that this season is full of blessings for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. God bless.